Moin Moin and welcome everybody. My name is Christoph Gern and I am the tech lead for Project Toth, an initiative started at the AI Center of Excellence within Red Hat's office of the CTO. Project Toth focuses on reproducibility and predictability of software stacks and a tool set that enables developers, DevOps engineers and data scientists to create better machine learning applications. We do so by supporting these users with AI augmented versions of the tooling that they already know. For example, by supplying extensions to Jupyter Notebooks that can recommend dependencies to the data scientists, or by providing CI-CD pipelines to automate tedious tasks, or by utilizing bots that can open issues and pull requests on GitHub, just as human DevOps engineers or developers would do. All of our services have one purpose, to determine the best dependencies based on the user's requirements. For example, our tooling can recommend an optimized software stack for a target runtime environment thanks to the access to a huge knowledge graph built by gathering different kinds of observations, like runtime characteristics or feature changes that break the build of the software. You will learn more about the content of the knowledge graph in future videos. We call this service a DevOps engineering bot. In this espresso series, we will focus on the data scientist persona, looking at the diagram, specifically at the leftmost box. Data scientists will learn that there are better ways to do their job than a local laptop. While data scientists and developers team up to create intelligent applications on OpenShift, DevOps engineers take care of configuring and deploying these via CI CD pipelines and bots. This enforces additional security measures so that we strengthen a DevSecOps practice that supports the productization of secure intelligent applications. The concept we will focus on in the next few episodes is very important. Data scientists and software engineers have a different background, but in the end both have the same goal, deliver software. The part of the software delivered by the data scientists is based on data. The part of the software delivered by the software engineer is based on source code. Both strive for the same goals create, deliver, and operate predictable and high-quality intelligent applications, a machine learning model integrated into a software service. With data scientists being one of the most important roles in today's companies, we want to support them with easy-to-use software engineering tools delivered by automation. Let's zoom in. Some of the fundamental requirements of software engineering also apply to the data science and machine learning domain. If we consider the explainability of machine learning models, which is one of the most important requirements in some businesses today, then we need to focus on reproducibility, which has always been a fundamental requirement in software engineering. Explainability and reproducibility go hand in hand. Therefore, a machine learning application should be built to guarantee reproducible experiments based on deterministic software stacks. In other words, the result of a deployed machine learning model, which is most often part of a larger software system, must be predictable. We can also support reproducible data science with traceability and version control included in the application lifecycle. We want to ensure end-to-end -end reproducibility for not only the software stack, but also the datasets used to train and verify the machine learning model itself. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. Here we see it, a schematic diagram of the data scientist working environment, Python application, which is a set of dependencies, and the Python interpreter. This application is best known to us as Jupyter Notebook. How does Operate First and Project Toth help data scientists perform their job efficiently and reliably? By providing them with a platform, the tools and resources 
to make their experiments predictable and shareable with others, without the need to spend time on issues or limitations that can occur on the local machines, such as CPU or disk space limitations, or availability of compute technology like Spark or Kafka. Using the tools that you are going to see in the next few videos, you will learn how to satisfy those requirements using source code control systems and AI augmented tooling that will help the data scientist to be a better software engineer. Tools that enable them to focus on their tasks efficiently and at the same time help the development and DevOps colleagues to do a better job. In this way, data science can leverage the DevOps experience and create a synergy that benefits the entire team and project. The platform that can support and facilitate this cooperation is Open Data Hub, running on OpenShift Container Platform, maintained by teams that provide different types of expertise in software engineering and operations. These teams can bring benefits to the data science working together towards the same goal in a shared and open environment. I have set the zoom level. We are looking at the data scientists and a workplace running on an implementation of the open hybrid cloud, the operate first environment. With that, I'll close this short introduction and invite everybody to have a closer look at our episodes in the Operate First Espresso series. Go ahead, click on the YouTube link, subscribe, enable notifications and share. We would love to get your feedback. So let's see how to enable collaboration between humans and bots and how to help data scientists benefit from machine generated knowledge. Thank you for watching.